Hello friends. Well, I made the mad dash to Wally World. I have picked up spark plug wrench, spark plug sockets, and a spark plug gap gauge. Notice that the spark plug sockets, there are three different standard quote unquote sizes. And you can usually tell a spark plug socket because it'll have a uh, bolt end on the end of it so that you can use a crescent wrench or a standard open end wrench to crank it. So, what's the big one? 13 sixteenths. I believe this 13 sixteenths might, might fit on spark plug. I took a 14, 19 millimeter wrench. I wonder if that'll fit on there. No. 19 millimeter wrench that I found out fits onto my spark plug and makes it a hundred times easier to pull off. See that? Because trying like this I wasn't getting it, but once I put the wrench on it like that, give it a look. Nice pretty spark plug. Same for the other side. Alright, Mr. Spark Club, where are you? Here you are. Okay. Come on, baby. Well, this one don't want to come off, and this is the one I had on and off yesterday. Here we go. Got her off. Like I said, everything that seems easy rarely is. Okay. came from. Let's try the big one. That's it. Alright, so all I need is something to drive it with. I'll go get my 3 8 socket. Ratcheting head. Most of you guys know this. All right, that's tightening. No, that's loosening. That's good. If I wanted to tighten, I'd go this way. All right, so that little button loosening. All right. Oh, look at that. You'll see it in a minute. There's a little rubber grommet that they put in these things a lot of times, and the rubber grommet stayed on the spark plug. That's kind of cool when the spark plug's way down in a hole and you can't get it out, so that helps draw it back out. All right, let's see how tight this baby's in here. Ooh, that's pretty tight. You usually don't need spark plugs that tight, but that wasn't terrible. All right, now take that off. It's usually easier to spin it once you get it started. Okay. This is the good running side. It looks like. Come on, baby. This is where people use T handles to do this job quicker. They're not worried about doing quick. They're worried about thorough. Uh, it's actually not terrible. A little bit of oil on it, but the burn looks nice. There, there is oil getting in here. Show you what I mean. Let's see if you guys can see this. See the it's got a bit of oil down in here. I don't really care for that. But that looks uh, pretty clean. I don't like that burned look over there. Uh, but I'm not it's not terrible. And it's got it's got a decent gap in it. I didn't check the gap specs, but let's go ahead and just see what they are. Here's the gapper. And see, it's kind of, there's a ramp here. So we just start it on the thin end. And it stops right there. It's at 035. I don't know if you can see that. 035. Okay. 
That sounds like a reasonable number to me. Let's get this guy out of here. Here's that little rubber grommet dude. Get that off of there. Little grommet dude supposed to stay in here. All right, now what we're gonna do? I'm gonna lay. I'm gonna put the spark plug back in the spark plug thing. All right. That one's not out yet, so it's kind of a waste of time to try and crank. Well, I could, but get them both out. All right, let me go get the other one. If you look at my spark plug chart, I would guesstimate uh, row one, two, three, four, five. No, column five, row three, which lists good. I think that's about where that spark plug was. Might even be down col column two, one, two, three, four rows, which is also okay. That, that's where I think that color came in. Let's get this plug out of here. Make sure you seat your wrench. Ooh. Going on over here. Well, my wrench is not going down on top of it properly for some reason. Okay. What's happening here? My wrench doesn't want to go down on it. My socket. Very straightforward thing, it just drop right on. This is not dropping on. Thinking maybe that uh, rubber thing, I put it in backwards or something. Let's get it out of there with this one. Yeah, so. Alright, since the little rubber dude wants to play silly games. Notice I really set that in there good. You want to get it, this is like a tuk-tuk, and you want to get it down on the bottom. Wow. I have a spark plug. Not wanting the socket. Makes me almost feel like it's a different size. It, would be very, very strange if it was a different size. It should not be a different size. They should be identical. This is not making sense to me. Whew. Is this thing cross-threaded badly? Can it be set in the room? why we have soft-headed hammers. It's not going to beat the crap out of it yet, but uh, this is the first step. All right. Why are you being stupid? Okay. I seem to have tapped it into place. Let's see if it does anything by being tapped into place. Ooh, and this is very loose. Socket on the spark plug. And this is the big one. This is blowing my mind, guys. Yeah, well, you might as well see it because it's going to happen to you too. There it goes. Now it's set in. Okay. Now it's set in. And it's. Ooh, this is a bad thread. I think they cross-threaded this thing. Oh, that's bad. That's really fucking bad. Yeah, some gorilla cross-threaded my spark plug. Oh, jeez. This is about one of the worst things 
something happened to the head of a motorcycle. Oh boy. Now we're we talking major surgery, helicoil. So, all that feeling good about my cheap motorcycle. Phew! Gas of friggin' lean! Holy cow, this full thing is full of gasoline! Yowza! Alright, so I'll show you this plug. We'll do the spark game. But this head is damaged. Badly. Cross threaded means it wasn't screwed in straight. Somebody just, you know, here's the hole, here's a spark plug, and instead of going in nice and neat, somebody put it in like that and forced it in. Now the plug itself, notice there's less of that oily crap. There is a bit of rich, but see up here on top? That's also very good. That's a very good, now I don't like this blackness here, I'm not sure what's going on there. But the top, where the action is, looks good. Let's take a look at our gauge. Do -do -do -do. Looks like about the same spot. Boy, like 37. I mean, really, really close to the same reading. Okay, so those are very close to each other. All right. Now. Now's where the fun starts. Remember, I got gasoline smell over here, so I got to be careful. I got to put this somewhere other. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave this up here for now. All right, and this stupid thing here. And I'll look think about this little rubber grommet being a jerk. All right, uh, I'm going to try to get you up in here. Let's see if I can make this work. All right, let's see if you can see what's going on here. See the spark plug. Hanging outside of the hole. Okay, I'll put this so you can see it. Do not hold this when you do this. I've done that, and you wish you didn't. I'm trying to make sure that the base of the plug touches the head. All right, and I've got it turned so if it sparks, you should see it. There we go. Power on. I got lights. Move it over quickly. Oh boy. That's usually easy. Why are you? It's in neutral. Usually you can crank this by hand. Wow. Oh. Did you see the spark? Now that's not a good spark. You do that again. That went over really hard. That shouldn't have been so hard. But see that yellow spark? That's an okay spark. That's not a good spark. It's an okay spark. You want it blue and it should go snick. You know, when you really nail it, you you can hear it. It's like almost violent. Look at that little snick. Now I heard something there, but it wasn't much. Okay, we'll leave that there. Let's go take a look at the other side, see what we got. Welcome to the shop. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I just guess you should call it my mess. Let's see what's happening on this side. Okay. And not sure how I'm gonna be able to see this. Nor blow up the shop. Okay, it's in good. We're gonna put this. There we go. Okay, I think you can see it up there. I won't be able to. I don't want it near this hole because that gasoline smell. I can go down there. I will not see this. Let's move my little, my sexy little chart. 
And again, you, uh, if you look in the posts, I should have shared that with you. I know Mark doesn't need one, but I'm not smart as Mark. I like to have that and take a look at it. All right, so let's see if I can get a leg over here. Get this little girl coming over. Let's see if we got a spark here. Again, remember, do not hold that thing. I was thrown across a uh, the garage doing that one time. Here we go. Boom! Blue! Beautiful. You couldn't get a better spark than that. But that's the spark you want. Cool. I even heard it go snick. Okay, so. We do not have a spark problem. But I am going to turn off this live video so that I can put that camera down in that hole. Because it felt like this spark plug should have been sitting like that. And it was sitting like that. I think it was kinked up a little bit. And this is a pretty major problem. I don't see any damage on that thread. Usually when you've cross-threaded something, you see damage on the thread. I'm running it through my fingers. And you know what? It feels a little rough right here. It might be just dirty. They might have just had sand on it or something. But it's not, it doesn't feel like a crossed thread. So maybe it's not. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's see if it'll try and go back in that hole nicely. Because your spark plug should be able to screw in. See, it's, it's not being nice. It's not accepting that plug. Mm. Okay, so I will be going somewhere tomorrow. And I will be buying a tap. Taps make and clean threads. It's the male thing. This is the male version. There's a female thread in there. So I'm going to go get a tap of the same size. I'm going to gook it with grease. So that if it does encounter something and tear off little bits of metal, that grease should capture it so that when I put the tap in... And then come back out. Hopefully I haven't dropped any metal into the cylinder head. This does not... Again, you notice the other one just screwed right in? This little girl does not want to go in. Okay, so I do not have a spark problem. So I had a gas problem. And again, this one was a beautiful blue. I've got to investigate why that one over there is only yellow. It's probably the points aren't set right. Okay, so I'm shutting off the live, and I will be taking video. See y'all.